Hey everyone, Alex here from warnauthkeys.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can upgrade your node version on CentOS or CentOS. So I've spun up a very basic DigitalOcean VPS here and if you want access to $100 in free DigitalOcean credit then check out the link in the description as well as the pinned comments. But assuming you already have your VPS open, we can go ahead and see if node is installed with node dash dash version and it's going to say command not found. We can also see if npm is installed with the same exact syntax with npm version and that's also not installed. So if you already have these installed and you're looking to upgrade, then go ahead and skip to the next section using the YouTube player. But if you don't have them installed, I'm going to show you how you can install them right now. So using control L to clear my console, I can run yum install node.js dash y. And keep in mind that if you are not on your root user, like I am here, then you might have to prefix this with sudo. Go ahead and run this and it should install node.js. So the installation is complete. I'm going to clear my console with control L and I'm going to then run node-v and we see 10.21. If I also run npm-v, we see 6.14. However, if I go over to the node.js website, here we see that the long-term support version is 12.19 and the current latest version is 15.0.1. We're wanting to at least get to the long-term support version, which is the stable version. So the first thing we want to make sure we do is clear our npm cache. This is especially important if you already had a previous installation that you were using. We can do this with sudo npm cache clear dash f to force this. The sudo isn't really required if you're on root, but it shouldn't hurt. Go ahead and run this. Now at this stage, we can install a package called in, which is going to help us manage our versions of node. We can run npm install dash g to make this a globally installed package in just a single letter and press enter. Now again, node-v will show 10.21, but if I wanted the latest version, we can then run in latest. And it's going to go ahead and install 15.0.1 as we can see right here, which is the latest version according to their website. After this is done, we can run node-v and we see 10.21. So why is this? We see this note right here, the node command changed location and the old location may still be remembered in your current shell. So we can actually log out of our VPS, and then I can try logging back in. I can then use Control L to clear the console, and we can run node-v, and it's now 15.0.1. What if we want the latest stable version and not the most latest version, which is development and could have some bugs and problems? We can simply say in stable, and it's going to install 12.19, which is exactly what we see right here for the latest stable version. Going back, we can then run node-v. Because we were on the most up-to-date version, it understands how to update the version right here without us logging out of our console. But what if we want a very specific version of Node? Well, we can say n and then the version number, let's say 10.0.0. .0. We can then run Node-v, and it's now 10.0.0. .0. So this is how you're going to install the latest development build, the latest stable build, as well as any specific version of Node within a CentOS VPS. You found this video helpful? Please consider liking and subscribing. If you need any help, ask within the Warnoff Keys Discord server, which is linked down below, or leave a comment. Thanks for watching.